Hi, I'm Lynn Gocher. I'm here with Gary Hines, and it's uh, Wednesday, uh, September the 2nd, first day of school, Gary. And uh, we've had a, uh, a really, really uh, tough couple of weeks up here with weather. We've had two major storm events. The dome has reacted uh, very well. You've done a great job with that. Uh, but the site has been extremely busy. Maybe uh, you can give us just a quick update as to what's been happening, and then maybe we go on a quick tour. Len, uh, we've had a lot of activity up here. Actually, Simcoe are here now installing the uh, ice-making equipment. We're, in fact, standing in the equipment room. In the background, you can see the uh, brine pumps and the brine tanks and so on, and that's the equipment that will be eventually generating uh, the ice and uh, allowing the kids to get out there skating. Gary, um, inside the dome, uh, I know there's been a lot of work going on there. What's happening there right now? Well, Len, we'll go inside after and take a look at it, but uh, currently they're just finishing up the uh, insulation layer that will go under the ice surface, and uh, then we have to lay the pipe and put down the, uh, the uh, wire mesh and the rebar to support that ice, and then we'll be pouring that floor, and uh, by that time the generating equipment should be all installed, and, and uh, we'll have a little bit of a waiting period while the concrete cures, and then we'll be making ice. Yeah, it looks like we've got most of the um, uh, critical equipment here with the uh, ice making equipment and the uh, electrical panels, uh, the uh, header pipes and that that are inside. Um, so I, I would judge from all of that that we're probably going to be able to uh, maintain our schedule. We're hoping that we will be right on schedule, Len. Uh, we need a few days for experimentation and, and hopefully uh, make sure that everything is up and functioning before we allow uh, team participation and uh, individuals to get in here skating on a full basis, but we think we'll be on schedule then. Well, that's great. So uh, once again, um, we're going to uh, take us, uh, maybe get you to take us on a, on a quick tour. Gary, so yep. let's go. Oh, we'll do that. Uh, Len, we're looking at technology that is beyond me at this point in time, but I do know the names of the equipment. Uh, in the background, you'll see what they call the chiller and then you will zero in on the, uh, the generator units or circulator units, pumps we call them, and then over here to the brine tank in the corner and then back over to the uh, heaters in the background. This whole combination uh, prepares the, the uh, brine, circulates the brine and brings it back to square one again and uh, continues that cycle that makes ice. Len is now at the back of the trailer that uh, Calls the boards that uh, and the and the background uh, ice protection, so we'll be unloading that and putting it in the dome and uh, fitting it strategically to our entrance and exit doors and so on and getting ready for them, uh, ready to place when the uh, concrete's poured to the ice surface. Len, we're standing on a face-off circle looking down the ice, and uh, there's 18,000 square feet of uh, approximately that of ice surface. Uh, we have probably seven-eighths of it done with two layers of styrofoam ready for the uh, cradle and the structure the pipe. And we're standing around now into the corner where the pipe is presently standing and there's some uh, 10 miles of pipe. And uh, if you zone down to the base of those pipes, you'll find the uh, actual header pipe with the little knobs where that, that pipe will be run out and connected to. And we'll feed back into the ice making uh, room. Uh, Len's now doing a zoom on one of the header pipes that I mentioned a little earlier. Uh, you'll see the little uh, prong sticking out on that header pipe. That Each one of those entertains uh, one run of uh, pipe that goes the full length of the arena. So it gives you an idea how many of those there are and how, how massive this pipe network is that, that builds the ice. Len, we're now standing uh, almost at the apex of the uh, entry road to the dome. And the excavator has broken up a considerable amount of uh, ridge rock. He's now shaping the road going forward and has about uh, 100 feet behind him left to do with a little bit of braking and shaping. And, uh, the road will be punched through with the gravel and will continue. If you want to turn around now and flash back the other way, we'll pick up the drainage ditches that will carry all the runoff water. And you'll focus on the Y in the road at the far end where we're going to separate the traffic and make it one way so we don't end up with traffic tie-ups. Well, Gary, I think as everybody can see, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, lot of work uh, happening at a very, very fast pace up here at the uh, Rocky Lake uh, New Dome Ice Surface Site on the Rocky Lake Common. Uh, again, it's uh, Wednesday, September the 2nd, first day of school. Gary, uh, where, where do we go from here now? There's, there's been so much happening, and I know we're doing a lot of updates, but uh, we have to. Glenn, you're right. Uh, not even a hurricane can stop us now. 
And I think that's uh, saying it all because we've faced hurricanes, we've faced a lot of opposition, we've faced a lot of criticism and so on, but everybody now will be clamoring to get on board because it's a success story. We're going forward and we're going to have ice uh, on schedule. But in particular, I want to say thank you to our board members that you and I have been able to work with. And not only that, I said uh, in recent days they've come in and actually uh, uh, given the physical uh, work by putting the insulation inside the dome and, and everybody's so caring that it's just it's exciting it's really exciting yeah no look you know what uh, I, I just congratulations to uh, Peter Christie Mike Spencer uh, even myself uh, we've been here we've been here for the last couple of days uh, we've been all laying uh, styrofoam on the floor to keep us on schedule uh, the board's taking not only uh, a passive role but a very active role in the construction of this site so that is a, that is a great thing once again, uh, Gary Hines, Len Goucher, it's uh, Wednesday, September the 2nd uh, from the uh, Rocky Lake Common and the new Rocky Lake Dome Ice Surface. And uh, Gary uh, will be back uh, probably in the next few days. We sure will.